This video will trigger flat earthers. If you are a flat earther, click away now. If you keep watching, be warned that your fragile mind and worldview may suffer harm. Why? Because this video mentions a man-made spacecraft. <coughs> now, if any flat earthers muscle through anyway just to argue, I have a further warning. If you want to claim that something presented as real is actually CGI used to deceive, because I know that most of you say that, but you cannot even provide what your criteria are for when to make that accusation, then you have no grounds to make it. Forget evaluating the claim, you can't even make it. Because without explicit criteria, there's no way to prove that you're not just saying fake to anything that contradicts your prejudged conclusion. And in reality, we all know that is exactly what you're doing and have always done. So get out of here. If you wanna reject all evidence from space on principle, that's your personal choice and nobody can stop you. You're allowed to be irrational. But that doesn't mean that you have an argument to persuade others. You're trying to join a horse race with no horse. That is not how this works. If any of you comment saying that space photos are fake, I will simply reply, criteria, please. No criteria, no discussion. Just shut up and get out. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get to the fun part. There is a satellite in space right now called Deep Space Climate Observatory, or DISCOVER for short. You know how space engineers love their acronyms. Some of you may recognize this as the satellite that captured a transit of the moon across the Earth back in 2015, which made news and of course caused flat earthers to go nuts. What's cool about DISCOVER is that it orbits the L1 Lagrange point between Earth and Sun. What the heck is a Lagrange point? Well, the DISCOVER website calls it a neutral gravity point or the place where the combined gravity from Earth and Sun evens out to zero. You can also think of it like the level spot right on the ridge crest between gravity wells. It's an invisible place of rest where spacecraft can sort of perch and balance themselves with very little ongoing fuel cost. How cool is that? So obviously the L1 point will always lie directly on the line between Earth and Sun. And by orbiting this point, Discover essentially has a 24-7 perfect view of the sunlit side of Earth from one million miles away. Not only that, but it captures a new full-frame photo of Earth from this location about once every two hours and publishes it near real time for free on this website. You can even browse an archive of these photos going back years. But I don't want to go back years. I just want to go back a few weeks to this past December between the 14th and the 18th. Can you guess why? That's right, TFE, the final experiment. While they were in Antarctica pointing their cameras up at the sun, Discover was floating out there at L1 pointing its camera back down at them. And yes, it got photos of their location in Antarctica from the viewpoint of the sun. Wow, doesn't that just ice the cake? Not only that, but as I looked at these photos, I learned that there's a documented public API that lets you download JSON metadata accompanying every single photo in the archive. And this metadata includes spacecraft telemetry. Whoa! So, please sit back and enjoy my geometrically accurate CGI reconstruction of the moment when the Discover satellite captured photos of my friends in Antarctica. Now, of course, you're not going to see them in the photos. It's only 2,048 pixels across the whole Earth. They're way too small. But we know they're in there, and that's enough for me. Where's the 
What is that? This turned into its own little mystery for me, which I started asking about to see if anybody knew the answer. While I was doing this, some intrepid citizen on Michael Toon's Discord server had the brilliant idea of following the contact links at the bottom of the Discover website and asking the experts themselves. And lo and behold, they got a reply. The NASA employees in charge of the satellite gave us the answer. They call it a glint. It's a known phenomenon where sunlight reflects on ice crystals in the atmosphere. From a million miles away, the Deep Space Climate Observatory, DISCOVER, is capturing sparkling glints of light in images of Earth. The Earth Polychromatic Imaging Camera, EPIC, on board DISCOVER has seen hundreds of these flashes, caused by sunlight reflecting off tiny ice particles floating in the air almost horizontally. So along with icing on the cake, we got a side of ice cream too. This was just so fun and cool, and I hope you thought so too. 